Wake up now. How's it going, everybody? My name is Benjamin Foley, and I am the creator of the April Awakening series that you are now watching day five of, um, where I'll be putting out a new video every single day that will help you guys wake up to the life you have so you can get the life you want. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a concept that was really hard for me to master, and I'm still very far from mastering it, but it's one that so many people have struggled with thinking, and that's understanding that all we have is this present moment. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. No, you're not going to have that promotion in the future, because when you get that promotion, you're going to be in the present, right? And nothing that's happened in the past is happening right now. What is happening right now? Like, take a moment. What what actually is happening? Maybe maybe right now you're on the way home from work or you're sitting in your apartment and, and contemplating the de- next day. The next day isn't here. Um, and what mindfulness teaches us is to wake up and just be like, okay with this present moment and just practicing coming back to this present moment, especially when things are going really, really badly. That's when you need mindfulness. You don't need it when you're happy and you're sitting on your little cushion, you know, having incense coming up and, you know, chanting. That's that's not when mindfulness is practical. When it's practical is when your, you know, your loved one passes away or, you know, your boss fires you. That's when you need to learn to be like, okay, come to the present moment. This is all I have. This moment right here. I need to act skillfully. Stop projecting, stop catastrophizing about what could happen. No, bring yourself to the present moment and act responsibly, act skillfully in act, right? A lot of people get this notion that mindfulness is not about action. It, it's all about action, but it's about acting skillfully in understanding whether you should or you shouldn't do something. It's not about just being a fish, allowing just everything to come into your lungs. No, it's about being like, wait, I'm going to come to the present moment, understand that the future worries and the past regrets are not my present moment. I can experience this, right? And I know the cliche, right? Smell the roses is a very cliche term, but that is the essence of life. That's the essence of what we have here is is, is just being able to pick up a little flower and smell it and enjoy it because it's all it's all you are all you are is right now past like i said is just a memory it's a figment of your imagination just like a projection of the future is they're the same thing Um, but they feel really real and that's not i'm not downplaying that but the way to get out of those negative feelings is just to come back to your present moment and look around and be like you know what things aren't that bad right now i'm not dying right now um, and, and that will bring you into the moment and that will wake you up and that will allow you to enjoy your life at a much deeper level. So that was day five. Wake up, everybody. Come to the present moment. Realize that your past regrets and your future worries are not real and just start practicing, right? The whole challenge of this 30 days is to have people start to wake up a little bit more. I think that if we have a couple more people around the whole world waking up and being more present, being more mindful, the world can change. And that's on you. That's on me. That's on all everybody who ever watches this or we come in contact with. That's on us to really change and create the world that I want. And that's the purpose of, of this series and everything that, I, that I'm doing. So make sure to check in um, tomorrow for the new, the new episode. And I'll, I hope you have a great day.